always thought that if I ever left Miami, I'd be running for my life. The first thing we need to do is warn you. If you haven't seen the last episode of Dexter yet, then stop watching right now. This is Mike Hale, television critic for the New York Times. Okay, if you're still here, then you've seen Sunday Night's Dexter. When you end a show like this, about a hero who's also a psychopathic serial killer, you have a dilemma. Can you give him a happy ending? Or can you kill him off? Dexter, like The Sopranos and The Shield before it, cut the baby in half. Dexter is alive, working in a logging camp, but he's definitely not happy. He fakes his own death rather than flee the country with his son and his girlfriend because he knows that he'll still be dangerous if they're together. And in his final stare at the camera, it seems clear that there is no redemption. He's still a killer and always will be. What was most interesting about the Dexter finale was that for a lot of fans, Dexter's fate will almost be an afterthought. The big news was that his last victim, in what was presented as an act of mercy, was his allegedly brain-dead sister, Deb. And in the show's real climax, he buried her at sea the way he had all his previous victims, wrapped in a white shroud that made her look like a bride or an angel. It was the key moment in one of the saddest endings you'll ever see from a primetime TV show.